<laughs> I, if you read how to remove the fuel shutoff valve, oh, it sounds so easy. But it's down in this hole. Oh, it, you, you're literally wrenching blind. You gotta just try to um, get it on the B nut and break the torque, but at least I disconnected it from there. I already got that one disconnected. Now it's the hard one over there. Then I'm gonna be like, just trying to get it on by feel. Whew. Man, could they make anything harder? Yeah, they could. It's obvious the engineers didn't talk to the mechanics. The mechanics would have said, put a bigger friggin' hole than that here. Yeah, peace. Oh, uh, the fuel valve's out. Now, it, it was hard. Here's what you gotta do. <laughs> you're gonna put, you're gonna work through this one and you're gonna lean over and look through this one as you're going at it. Only two bolts hold it on. Um, it was easy. I used a ratchet out here for the top one and a wrench under here. And then for the bottom one, a wrench out here and a ratchet down here. So there you go. Woo. Now, let's take a look. There's the old one. There's the new one. I got this one, uh, McFarlane Aviation right here. And then here's the old time, baby. So we gotta swap some fittings around. Whew. We gotta make sure we get them in the right spot, exactly in the right spot. So the lines connect easily. Cause you're, you're working in the blind down there. All right, so fuel valves out. Pretty much taking care of this whole fuel system. Gonna make sure it's friggin' good to go.